this is one of those missed eBay settings that most people don't even know about that can be extremely helpful. We've used it for years. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at a couple eBay settings. I'm going to show you a very useful one that we've used for many years. Now we're going to look at some quantity settings here that can be useful even if you don't have quantity of items. That's just the name of the tool. It doesn't mean you have to have necessarily quantity. It basically works for everything in your store to begin with. So if you turn it on, every one of your listings will revert to this method. And it's the zero quantity option. There's another option there as well, which we'll show you. These are in the site preferences. We'll show you how to get to them. Now, I know there's a lot of issues with cancellations and things like that when someone cancels after they purchased it. I know a lot of folks worry about the watchers and all of those aspects with it. Using the zero quantity option means that that listing doesn't end when someone buys it. So the watchers are still tied to the original listing. If at the end of the day, the person doesn't pay for it, never pays for it, obviously you file the cancellation and the whole works. All you gotta do though is go back into that listing that still has the watchers hanging there and change the quantity back to one. That's all you gotta do. It doesn't end the listing, it'll still be setting there. Now I'm just in account settings and you can get to it just by popping up to your name right up at the top above eBay on most all of the main pages here. And all you're looking for on this page, they've simplified it. So they have actually simplified and kind of combined some things. So that's not so bad. Just go to selling preferences. And this page comes up right here. It's right at the top, so you shouldn't miss it once you get the selling preferences. Multi-quantity listings. You can read the explanation they have, but it makes it sound like you have to have it for mostly just quantity items. Now, there's many reasons you can use this. Um, if you've got quantity and you don't want them to end where your competitors are going to be able to track down who it is or you see them in your you know, sold listings and things like that, this will bury all that so people won't be able to see it. Now, many people don't know that that's what it does. Other people say that they do that just to hide their stuff. In some cases, yes, people are using it to hide stuff. But in other cases, you're using it to make your life simpler because you don't lose anything. If you've got watchers on something, it's still a pretty decent item. You don't have to worry about relisting it and all that kind of stuff. If it's still active, if you've still got people who are interested, may help you sell it a little quicker if, if, say, the person does cancel on you. I've used this option for, geez, a few years uh, straight. I haven't turned it off. I haven't been disappointed with it. The listings, once they hit zero because they were sold, will um, keep going until you end them and click sell similar, or they've been up for 90 days. After 90 days, they pretty much end on the routine cycle. So if it's been up for a certain length of time, it will end on the auto relists. I'm not sure on how long it auto relists and all, but there's like a amount of time that it does it. I'm in the listings tab now in the hub still. Another option that they've added in quite a little while ago that many people still aren't exactly sure on is the ability to sit here and change your quantity, your available quantity from this page. Prior to adding this feature, you had to click edit either on an individual listing or edit them in bulk. Now you can pretty much just click on here and change the quantity down to zero. Now one thing I've noticed doing this, changing the quantity from this page, to zero is eBay can tell the difference when I do that because some that are sold will automatically when I end and sell similar just show up as sold listings and the listing will disappear I won't be able to relist it unless I go to sold listings to relist it but when you change the quantity to zero here on this option from the listings tab here it will still relist just fine even with a zero quantity now, something else that eBay states when you do that is that they don't show your items if they have zero quantity in search results. I can tell you, though, for sure that people are still able to see it either because they can see it from your store or they still are showing your items for a certain length of time after they hit zero. Maybe it takes to the relist. I don't know. And I say that because every single week I get people asking me, is this still for sale? Do you have it for sale? What's the deal? It has no option to let me purchase it. 
Uh, there's no option to purchase it, obviously, but they do show it to people. So I find that interesting. That's another way if you have this option set where you can still draw a little more attention to you. They'll see it, won't be able to buy it. Maybe they'll contact you. Maybe it'll be somebody who'll start watching your store for that reason. So it'll show items that maybe you don't have now, but maybe they're interested and wished they could have seen them before they sold. So it's another way to get a little bump here. Every little bump, every little bit you can do is a big plus. I truthfully love this option here, the available quantity option. That's one of the best ones I personally use all the time. Um, with some of the auto syncs and stuff with other sites like HIP or something, I just come in here and change the quantity to zero when something sells on another site. Now, I can do it with a file and from the other site, but if I'm in a hurry or something else like that, I can just come over here and click it to zero and boom, I'm done. And again, none of those are sold. So let's say the other site they were sold on and someone didn't pay for them. It's easy enough to come back in here and change the quantity from zero back to one, and then you can actually still keep the watchers that were on those items. Like this one here has a watcher on it. If the quantity goes down to zero, that watcher will still be tied to it. Unless he sees that it's not for sale or clicks on it and realizes it's not for sale, I should say. These stay in the watch list of people until you end and sell similar, basically, or you remove them from the site. So if they don't pay on the other platform, I can just, again, as I said, go right back in here and change the quantity to one or whatever the quantity I want it to be. So if you say you sell a piece of clothing and uh, they don't pay for it, but it ended the listing, you lost your watchers. Uh, with this option, you just go to zero. He never pays. You file the report in four days or whatever length of time eBay has, or it auto cancels. If you relist it, though, you could lose the watchers in many cases once it's sold. This way, you do not. This way, it literally just reactivates it with a new quantity is basically all it is. As I said, I believe it's 90 days these will sit at zero quantity if you change it down to zero. So that's just an FYI on this aspect here. Now back in the selling preferences, there's one more option here. Uh, buyers can see exactly how many items are left. Uh, this is something that I go back and forth on sometimes. If you've got like a ton of quantity on some items, it might not be wise to show the entire quantity available. Uh, if, if you've got 100 or 200 or something that's a decent item, but there's not a ton of people that would want it immediately, you, you don't want to show the quantity. You'd probably want to list one at a time. When one sells, you'd list another one. You'd keep your prices pretty high. If there's a whole bunch available from the start, it's not going to be perceived as a rare item. It may still be a rare item, but when you, it's basically flooding the market, I guess, when you list a whole bunch of something like that. Now, turning this off won't allow the listings to state exactly how many items you have available. It won't show the actual quantity for those items. And that'll be for your entire store. These options are either on or off for everything. So if you turn one of these on, it's for everything in your store. So it'll allow you to go to zero quantity on single quantity items. One shirt, one pair of shoes, whatever you're selling. So if you're clothing and you're getting that and you don't want to lose your watchers, just do this. Just turn this on here and you're done. You don't have to worry about it. The watchers will still be there for a certain length of time. Uh, surely within the length of time, uh, it would take uh, to know if you have to cancel that or if you're auto-canceling after four days on an un unpaid for item. Now here's one of my items. You can see I have 30 of them available. Uh, so quantity-wise is literally shown and listed in the listing. Now I just opened up a new page here um, so you can see what it shows now. It just says more than 10 available is all it says. So if you've got a huge quantity, they're only going to know you got at least 10, and that is it. So it'll at least limit the, the idea that you got a whole mess of them. So this is a little better way, in my opinion, than just listing 100, 1,000 or something right off the bat. It creates a little more sense that maybe there's not that many of them available. Hopefully, it'll push and, and build into perceived value in my book. I think that's really important on these. Now, I've went back and forth on this option here, but I've seen some results, and I've talked to some people, and the consensus is that this does seem to work. So I'm going to go with what they've said and give this a shot for a while and see if it doesn't boost uh, some sales a little bit here to see. Every little bit you do can help. 
One little tweak, one little word can change your outcome. You can make it sell by just doing a few little tweaks in many, many cases. Well, there we have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. smelling flowers. Smells so real. Flower making basket. Super dough flower making basket with 10 buds and four colors of super dough.